Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we are going to assemble Realme 11. First of all, we need to remove the car tray. For this, we use a special tool, carefully insert it into the hole and push out the tray for SIM cards and memory cards. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes we can move on to ungluing or detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover we use a thin plastic film. We insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and gently run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. We always need to be careful around the cameras so as not to damage the lenses. We carefully detach the cover. As we can see, the cover is additionally glued in the area of the cameras. So we remove the back cover. On the back cover we have nothing presented. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws. For this, we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips HTO. It looks like all the screws are the same, but we recommend placing them on a special surface in a specific order, just in case. If our screws don't come out well, we can use a magnetizer. And we can also leave the one screw that holds the cover that hides the speaker in place, so that the cover doesn't prevent us from detaching the middle cover. But before removing the middle cover, we need to unscrew one more screw in the camera area. Carefully unscrew the screw, put it aside to the other screws. After that, we move on to detaching the middle cover. To do this, we first use a thin plastic film, insert it into the gap in the area of the car tray, carefully unclip a few clips, and then use a thicker tool. We detach the clips, thus detaching the middle cover. We need to be careful around the side buttons and fingerprint sensor, as they are physically located in these spots. We need to be careful at the corners, because the cover is held pretty tightly at the corners. And accordingly, we need to be careful with a fingerprint sensor cable, so as not to accidentally damage it. We detach the cover, turn it over, and with a non-metallic tool, first disconnect the battery connector, and then disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector, and remove the middle cover with antenna contact pads. After that, we can remove the one screw that we have securing the cover. For this, we use the same screwdriver Philips 1.5 mm. We carefully unscrew the screw, and we can detach the cover hiding the loudspeaker. So, after that, we disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable, disconnect the connector of the interboard cable, disconnect the second connector of the interboard cable. We also need to disconnect the connector of the display cable. We can, of course, try to detach the subboard first, but it is better to disconnect the connector. We disconnect the connector to the display and then we can gently pry up the edge and remove the subboard. And again, carefully, we remove the subboard. We have it slightly recessed. And on the subboard we have the charging port, microphone, headset jack port and other elements on the back side. And in the display frame we still have the loudspeaker and the vibration motor. So, our traditional test of the microphone hole. We can't insert anything in the microphone hole, as there is a mesh. The microphone hole itself in the display frame has an L shape. So, if we even manage to push something through the mesh, we won't be able to damage the microphone in this way. Then we move on to detaching the front camera on the motherboard. We carefully disconnect the connector, Peel off the heat dissipating adhesive foil, 
and remove the front camera. Next, we need to detach the large rear camera. We have the large rear camera taped to the display frame. So we need to carefully lift and peel off the rear camera. We have to be really careful not to damage the cable and not to damage the camera. And it is also important not to touch the lenses. So we have detached the large rear camera and we have to detach the second camera. Also disconnect the connector, pry off the base and peel off the second rear camera, which is glued to the motherboard. Carefully remove the second rear camera and put it aside. It is, al it is also crucial not to touch the camera lenses. Then we move on to disconnecting the connectors. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector and therefore release the cable itself from the clips fixing it on the motherboard. Then we disconnect the interboard cable connector and disconnect the connector of the second interboard cable. So we can move on to detaching the motherboard. We find the right place where we can carefully hook, lift and remove the motherboard. There is thermal test on the back side of the motherboard. And we move on to detaching the battery. We need to unwrap the transparent coating. We need to unfold the green tab and pull the green tab gently upwards. We remove the battery. As we can see, under the battery we have the transparent protective coating, which protects the interboard cables. So, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos okay guys now we're done thank you for watching if you like what we do please consider subscribing to our youtube channel or read our articles on our website take care of yourself and until next time